Hey there guys um, and ladies, I am going to play some Frostpunk. This is an extremely dark game um, about the end of humanity. Um, we'll, we'll watch the story. We'll, we'll start from the beginning here. Um, yeah, not going to do that. I've just started playing. I will let you guys watch the cutscene, and then we will jump right into it. It's a strategy style game about, uh, not the end of the world, it seems to be taking place in like the late 1800s, but uh, you'll see, you'll see what happens. If the game ever loads, you will see what happens, sure enough. Sure enough. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old, stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning, When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We've lost our world to snow, and with it, our last traces of humanity. Farewell to plenty, and for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope pushed us forward, slowly, step by step. We knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. As you can see, it's an extremely dark uh, setting. Let's see. We fled from London, crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On our way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator. I guess it was existing there already. Uh, only to find it frozen, solid, abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst. Now that the world as we know it has crumbled. We have to survive. Alright, so in a sense this is kind of a city building game, um, but uh, as you can see it's negative 20 degrees C, that is I believe about negative 20 Fahrenheit, um, and uh, we're going to have to basically build our city in uh, the frozen wastes, and it will get colder. Oh, believe you me, it will get colder. So, first thing we're going to do is set up a gathering post, try to set it in a place where we will get lots of stuff. We need wood, we need metal, we need coal. Wood and coal early on are going to be the most important things. Unfortunately, all of our coal is kind of on this side of the city and all of the wood is kind of on this side. So. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get both. Okay. So. 
let's just set up one to get all that stuff and we will set up another one to get uh, as much coal here as we can. So bam, we are building two of those. Let's make some roads to get to them. Just make things easier. We're missing f wood, apparently. So let's assign some people to collect wood. I think, yeah, streets only take wood. So, uh, oh, I was paused. All right, let's get these people out of here. And you can't zoom in super far, which is unfortunate because it's a really just incredibly beautiful game. I think it's really beautiful. Okay, we getting wood? Yeah, we got wood. Okay, that works. And then... There we go, build roads out to this. These places. So these gathering posts will allow us to gather any nearby resources, including coal, including uh, w wood. Uh, and our goal in the first day here is going to be to get our city kind of up and running. So, great, I think this is inoperative because it needs a road. Yep. But this one is running, so we are gathering coal currently. I believe um, you need six coal. Let's start the, st start the steam. Now you can see from this screen what the temperature is. Um, I'm not sure if anything's happening yet. It kind of looks like everything's the same temperature. Usually there's a radius around which uh, it's slightly higher. Or, oh, there we go. Yep, see, so now this area is warmer. Uh, so people in this area are gonna have a plus one to the uh, to their temperature. So that's livable. If it had more insulation, it might be like comfortable or or, or whatever. Lower than liv livable, I think, is uh, chilly. Below that's cold. Um, okay. So I'm gonna start building tents because we have a lot of people with no homes. Uh, I'm going to stop having people go straight to the piles of stuff, and instead they'll just work out of the gathering post. I think that'll work fine. Time to rest, folks. Oh, Work's first day's already today. over. That's fine. They'll keep building the, um, the tents, which is good. Um, let's see, so we've got 80 homeless, so 10 people apiece. We basically need 8 eight tents. And uh, I'm going to build them as close as possible just because I really um, I really hated it in my last game when uh, all the tents were like super super cold because they were too far away from the generator. And it was pretty miserable. I had people getting sick, uh, people who were Discontent, very discontent. Right now, their lack of shelter, that's their main discontent. Hope starts out really high. I don't think I've had hope that high um, when I was playing my previous game. Alright, so now we've got functioning tents. We only have 60 homeless. That'll be 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. So we need to build one more, one more tent. But unfortunately, um, Hmm. Okay. So they're not doing anything, they just have free time, they're building some tents. We're still gonna have ten homeless tonight. Oh, we have one person sick. We're going to need to jump on getting a, a medical post pretty quick. That needs 25 wood. 
Two people sick. It's gonna keep jumping overnight. Oh, we're out of coal, really? That's a bummer. I think they'll probably gather enough tomorrow. They start at midday. We survived another night. That has to count for something. Yes, it does, indeed. So, I think around 8 they'll start working. You know what? I'm going to sign a law. So, this first section is adaptation. It's just like basic stuff that can help you survive a little bit better. Um, I really want extended shift, but I guess you need emergency shift to get there. So, I'm going to go ahead and start there. Uh, so the, the options starting out are emergency shift, um, it allows you to basically go one day of um, a 24 hour shift and you can only use it every so often. You do fighting arena, which basically just makes people a little bit, uh, a little bit less bored. Uh, soup, it's a little, little, uh, it's, it's more filling but people don't like it. You can put sawdust in there, that's unfortunate. Uh, radical treatment. They'll try everything to, to cure the gravely ill, which means you'll get a lot of people with amputated limbs. They can't work, uh, but you're just kind of keeping them alive. You can sustain life. You won't amputate, but you'll be able to keep the gravely ill alive. Um, you got cemetery. Let's see. So if you sustain life, uh, basically you can wait until you get a... Uh, what building is it you get? It's like an infirmary that lets you cure these people eventually. Uh, you can either do the cemetery, which makes people a little happier, or you can do the corpse disposal, which um, basically allows you to immediately get rid of people without a bunch of uh, ceremony. And then you've got child labor. So, that's important. Gotta be able to uh, get those kids to work. Okay, so I'm going to start with the emergency shift. That'll let me get the extended shift eventually, which is Listen, everyone, much better. New law is signed. Uh, okay, so they're working. We're getting coal. Can we turn it back on? Good. Good, good, good. Uh, critical shortage. The number of sick is rising. We don't have enough materials to build a medical post. Um, I already did that. Already did it. Already did it. Are you happy now? Maybe. Not really. <clears throat> okay, so we still have 10 homeless. We've got a couple people getting sick, so we're going to want to build that infirmary as fast as we can. Uh, unfortunately, it will be out in the cold a little bit because I've already used my inner circle to place the tents. Which, you know, I could be wrong. I, th I think it's going to be a, a decent way to do things. There's no good way. Uh, people are going to die. It's going to just be the way that this game is going to work. Unfortunately. So, we're gathering lots of coal. What are these guys getting? I can't... I can't tell what they're getting. Might need to build another... gathering post. Yeah, I think the temperature is a little bit unrealistic in this game, like, the negative 20 degrees C, I mean, that's already pretty damn cold, right? If you're at negative 20, you're wearing a parka, you're trying to avoid allowing your extremities to contact any kind of cold. Um, if you get much colder than that in real life, uh, you would tend to be in, in some deep trouble. And I think one... One heating level in this game is 10 degrees C, so presumably uh, this area here, like if this is chilly, okay, negative 20, they're calling it chilly, which is kind of ridiculous, um, then that would mean that this circle here would be about negative 10 degrees C, and the inside of their tents would be about 0 degrees C, which is apparently livable. I wouldn't personally call that livable, but, um, you know, to each their own. I don't really think that humans would survive to this extent. So you can just kind of imagine that the, uh, the actual temperatures are considerably higher 
Um, and you'll be, you'll pretty much understand what's going on. Uh, unfortunately, I do need to immediately... Okay, let's look at this. So, it has a base heating level of 1, which means it's going to be 1 warmer than whatever it's near. Um, I'm just trying to think. So it'll be livable if I place it out here, even without any generator or anything. So let's go ahead and place that out there. Uh, we're continuing to generate coal. Once I get a little bit more... Um, once I get a little bit more wood, I'm going to go ahead and build another resource depot to gather even more wood. That'll be good. Wood is one of the most valuable if not the most valuable resource in this game. So, uh, our goal... Oh, we need people who are working in the hospital once it's complete. All right, there we go. So, how much do I need for another gathering post? Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, let's... Do I want more metal. I'm not sure I do, but hmm, I'll place it there. And let's put a road going out there. Okay, I don't think uh, it's going to reach if I go straight out. Alright, the day's over. Uh, we don't have any people who are ill and outside of a hospital, so that is a very good thing. Uh, pretty soon here, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm not sure if I have enough... Uh, not sure if I have enough wood. I think we might have just enough wood to build a road. So that's good. Tomorrow we can get that fired up, get people working in it. Ooh. Introduce a new law. So, I definitely want to do extended shift. It's kind of a pain. People will be a little bit more discontent. Really, I find that hope is a little bit better than discontent. Or it outweighs it. So, um, I'm not really going to care too much if my people are not. 100% content. If they've got hope, I feel like that's hear me, hear the most me. important thing. New law in the city. Yeah, I mean, working 8 to 5 was... Working 8 to 5 is a little ridiculous. Especially when you consider, like, most of these people... Um, this is supposedly happening in the 1800s, kind of in an alternate universe where they have, you know, all of this different steam technology. Uh, it's kind of a cyberpunk slash, you know, obviously the name of the game is Frostpunk. Okay, now this, I did not notice this, and that's going to screw me over. So, um, ooh man, that's bad. That's really bad. I'm going to have to get a workshop as soon as possible. Uh, I'm going to have to research. Uh, as soon as I get my workshop, I'm going to have to research, um, what is it, extended range. For this thing, because otherwise my hospital's gonna be too cold to um, to function, right? So what this is is a weather forecast. Uh, in about a little over a day, uh, temperature's gonna drop two levels. That means it'll go to negative 40 degrees C. Um, so that's gonna be really tough. All of this area that, that says it's chilly is gonna go to very cold. Uh, and once it's very cold, it basically everything will drop by two levels. So the stuff that's, um, you know, comfortable right, right now is going to be chilly. The stuff that is livable is going to be very cold. So I need to, um, man, that came up fast. I wonder if that's tied to, like, advancements that you're making, right? Like, once everybody gets home, it, it tries to throw another curveball at you or, or something. I'm not sure. Uh, my last game, it did not happen that fast because I was totally clueless in my last game. I flopped around for probably three or four days 
uh, and it did not throw me a curveball like that on day four. So, work time. Get back to work. Uh, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Okay, I've got a surplus of coal, that's good. Um, I'm not sure how I check. Right, I don't want an emergency shift. Oh, okay, so apparently I can change the shift length here. And that raises discontent a little bit. But I'm assuming that's kind of a permanent change. So tonight they should work till 8 p.m. Um, okay. And then as soon as I have enough stuff... I really kind of want to put this workshop outside of town because it doesn't matter all that much. Right, like if it gets cold, eh, not gonna matter. Yes, I need food. They're not using food, which is very interesting. Okay, so we got people in here. Now what we need to do, first things first, is I'm gonna have to extend... Oh man, this is miserable. Okay, so I'm gonna have to upgrade to technology level one, basically, to get the power upgrade and the range upgrade, which will allow me to keep my hospital warm. Uh, it'll also allow me to keep my tents warm. Uh, but I'm not gonna be able to get it in time, unfortunately. Um, I, pa I can't pass a new law yet. Kind of an authoritarian in this game. Are they... Ref oh, 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 they don't have anywhere to eat. Okay, um, so I'm gonna have to get a cookhouse, which will basically make food for them. Um, unfortunately, as soon as I make that, they're all going to, um... Oh, that's unfortunate. They're all going to rush in there and eat all of my raw food. So that's going to be in the second tier. Uh, that and the hospital, you always want to be able to run. Finish your labors, people. The work day is up. No, well... So the people who are working here should still be working. The people working here should still be working. Oh, I need to change that to... Every time I do that, discontent goes up over time, but I wonder... Like, usually stuff in the discontent goes away after a few days. Um, okay, so uh, that was kind of an introduction to Cyberpunk. Uh, I will be continuing this in the next episode. Um, tune in if you'd like to see lots of people probably die and um, it get super cold. It's going to be crazy times. Alright, I will see you guys soon.